Hey guys, it's Van. Welcome to Mumbling Panda. Today we're going to be making this pink pig plushie who you might recognize from the last Bumbling Panda video. Let's get started. For this project, you're going to need half a yard of dark pink fleece and scraps of a lighter pink fleece and also scraps of white fleece, scraps of black fleece, and scraps of blue fleece, although for this project I'm using felt. You're also going to need some polyester stuffing. To start off, I cut out a large circle for her body. I'm going to make two pieces. Then I cut out a slightly smaller circle for her head. And I'm also going to make two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. For her arms, I'm cutting out half circles that are slightly elongated, so I guess they're like longer half circles. And I'm going to make four pieces, two for each arm. Her legs are pretty similar, but just a little bigger and a little longer. And also, I'm going to cut out four pieces, two for each leg. Her ears are going to be slightly rounded triangular shapes, and I'm cutting these in the lighter pink fleece. Also, I'm cutting four pieces, two for each ear. Then I'm going to cut out her nose, which is going to be in the lighter pink, and it's going to be a long oval shape. For her nostrils, I'm cutting out two long, thin ovals in the dark pink. Then I'm cutting out two large white circles for her eyes. I'm also cutting out two slightly smaller circles in blue for her pupils. And then I'm adding two white circles for a little bit of that sparkly shine in her eyes and two even smaller circles for even more sparkly shine. Then I pinned all her facial features down, but making sure that it's only one piece of the dark pink circle that I used for her head. And then I sewed all her features down. For her ears, I placed two pieces right sides together and sewed the outer edge, but I made sure to leave the bottom open so that later I could flip the ears right side out. I do the same with the arms and legs. I place two pieces right sides together and then I sewed the outer edge but I left the bottom open so that later I could flip the pieces right side out. Then I took the ears, the arms, and legs and flipped them right sides out through the opening I had left earlier. Then I'm going to go ahead and stuff each piece full of polyester stuffing. Next I took the front body piece and the face piece of the pig and place them right sides together so that the necks matched. Then I pinned the head of the pig to the body of the pig and I'm going to sew the head to the body at the neck. Next I took the back body piece and the back of the head and I also placed them right sides together so that the necks matched. Then I'm going to pin the head of the pig to the body of the pig and sew the body to the head at the neck. Next, I positioned the ears, the arms, and the legs on the pig's front piece, but flipped inwards. Make sure that the openings of the arms and the ears and the legs match the edge of the body. Next, I place the back body piece face down on top of everything. I'm going to pin along the outer edges of the pig 
but making sure to catch the ears, the arms, and the legs between the front and back pieces. This part is really important because this is what's going to catch all of the, her like features and limbs and everything so that she's actually a pig and not just like this floppy, you know, mess of fabric, if that makes sense. So this is what it looks like once I'm done pinning. I made sure to catch the ears, the arms, and the legs between the front and back pieces of the pig. Then I sewed the outer edges of the pig, but I left the bottom open so that I could flip the pig right side out. Okay guys, I'm really sorry, but I don't know what happened. The last video clip just disappeared. So all I did was flip the pig right side out through that opening at the bottom, and then I stuffed her full of polyester stuffing and I had to hand sew the bottom opening closed. So the technique is very similar to what I did with the Bumbling Panda. So I'm gonna link you to the video so you can see what I did exactly. So go ahead and watch that video if you're confused. But of course, if you are still kind of like, what? Then you can um, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. So yeah, this is what she looks like, I still don't know what to call her, um, but she is available on my Etsy shop if you guys want to purchase her instead of making her. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!